and God is producing his picture. The question is, if God is producing his type, his picture, do we make effort to produce our type? Many of the problems that the world leaders have is that they try to render good service to their people, but they fail in one thing. They fail in producing their time, which is their picture. People like Greg Mandela is a very good leader, but he fell in one particular area. He could not produce, he could not produce his style, which is his picture. We have great leaders in Nigeria, like great Nandazikwe, who is a very good leader, but he fell in one area. He could not produce his style, which is his picture. Brethren, as Christians, do we understand that God wants you and I to produce our time? Do we understand that God wants you and I to be a picture of Christ? Because many of us might say, eh, nobody has ever seen God before. Well, that is a ridiculous uh, uh, talk because Philip made that same comment to Christ. He says, you, are, you have been talking about your father. Show us your father. Show us the picture of your father and we will believe. But Philip could not understand that Jesus Christ is the picture of his father. When Jesus Christ was living, he left his picture here. That the whole world will look if they are looking for Jesus Christ, which is you and I. The question is, are we truly Christ's picture? If you and I are a picture of Christ, on our own little way, do we have our time? Do we have our own picture? We are called to render service and to produce our time. That is the purpose of our calling. To render service and to produce our time. For you and I to fulfill our calling, we must be able to render service and able to produce our time. Today, I see Olumide standing before us here to lead song. It is a picture of someone here. Yesterday, I saw Nane standing before us here to this song. It is a picture of someone. The question is, in your own little service, do you have a picture? Do you have a type? It is one thing to strive to render service, and it is another thing to strive to produce your type. Jesus Christ tried as much as possible to render service to humanity, but he was able to produce his time. And that is why we are called Christians. Not a religion, but a type of song. If Christ was able to produce a type, do you and I make effort to produce our time? That is what 
leadership is all about, and that is what Christianity is all about. Rendering service and producing our time. Because that is exactly what we are going to do in the kingdom. To render service and to produce our time. And that job starts from today. It starts here on earth. Because you cannot be given responsibility which you cannot handle. If you and I cannot render service in this age, as little as we are here, brethren, if you and I think we can be called to render service in the kingdom of God, we are just joking. The question is, how well do we make effort to render service and produce our time? That is what our calling is all about. Many people mistake rules with job. If you are employed in a company, the company has their own rules. Oh, you resume work by 8 o'clock. You close by 4 o'clock. Don't take anything out of the company. That is, the, that is rules of the company. But that is not why you are employed. You are employed to do a job. So also God. God has called you and I to render a service, to do a job. Understanding that job will help us to do well as a Christian. The laws, which are the rules, are important because it is all about covenant, a relationship. Just like a, a, a man that married a wife, there is a, a job he expects his wife to do, but there is a rule. There is a rule she must keep. She must submit to her husband, but that is not the job. That is not her job. Her job is to be a partner to her husband, to support her husband. But to submit to her husband is a rule that guides that relationship. Many times, we mistake rules with job. Yes, we try as much as possible not to fornicate, not to tell lies. Those are rules that God has set aside to guide our relationship with Him. For He has called you and I to do a job. And that is why He called you and I to be a worker in His vineyard. The question is, do we really understand why we are called? Or do we only run ourselves in keeping the laws? The laws are important. They are there. If you cannot even keep the law, you cannot even work with God. Just like in a company, if you cannot keep the law of the company or the rules of the company, you cannot even work in that company. But there is a job that we are called to do. And understanding that job will help us to prepare ourselves for the bigger job which we are going to render in the kingdom of God. Because it is the same job, but we are doing it in a little, in a lower form. But we are going to do it in a bigger form in the kingdom of God. And that job is to render service and to produce our time. Brethren, God said to Abraham, walk before me and be perfect. Partner with me. Copy me. Imitate me and you will be perfect. A man came to Jesus and asked, teacher, what must I do that I may inherit the kingdom of God. And that is why we are here, working out our own salvation so that you and I will serve in the kingdom. And Christ gave him a reply that should mean something to us. How many of us have made an empire 
on what does it take me to enter the kingdom of God? God used physical things to teach you a nice spiritual truth. Just like someone who wants to enter America, who wants to go to America or UK, and you believe you can just wake up and go to America without meeting the requirement. You are just a joker. You need things like visa, you need things like passport, and so on and so forth. A man asked Jesus Christ, what, shall, what, what does it require me to enter the kingdom of God? And Jesus Christ says, keep the law. That is the starting point. But it does not end here. Let us go to our first reading. Matthew chapter 19. Brethren, we are called to render service and to produce our time. How well we do the job that we are called to do, we then you and I get the work. Matthew chapter 19. Matthew chapter 19. Reading from verse 16. Matthew 19, reading from verse 16. Now behold, one came and said to him, and said to Christ, Good teacher, what good thing must I do that I may have eternal life? He made her inquire. He want to know what it would take him to enter life, to inherit the kingdom of God. Many of us here don't even make inquiry. We believe we know it all. But there is something that it will take us to. It will not just enter the kingdom of God because of we keep the Sabbath. But there is one thing that Christ mentioned to the man that we help him, guide him to enter the kingdom of God. And he start by saying, you know the law, you keep them. But let us see the ultimate thing that it will cause the man to enter the kingdom of God. Verse 21. Jesus said to him, if you want to be perfect, the kingdom of God is for those who are perfect. The Bible says, if it is hard for the righteous to be saved, that means even if you are righteous, there is no guarantee that you will be in the kingdom of God. He says, if you want to be perfect, because we are talking about a perfect kingdom, we are talking about a perfect government, only those who are perfect are needed there. The question is, how well do we make effort to be like our Heavenly Father, who is perfect? So one might say, forget about it. No one is perfect. Yes, it's true. But Christ says, you and I can make effort to be perfect. And how do we make effort to be perfect? Is to understand what we are called to do. To render service and to produce our time. A tailor who produce good clothes, but without making effort to produce a tailor like him, is a good tailor. But it's not a perfect tailor. Why? Because that type tailor does not have his time. He does not have his picture. If anything happened to him, 
That is the end of his legacy. That is not the type of people that God is looking for. God is looking for people that will multiply themselves. We just had a, a, a dedication that is between the family of Shoma and the Tunde. They were able to multiply themselves, and today one has added unto them. Do we make effort to multiply ourselves? If you are a son leader, God expects you to multiply yourself, to produce your time. It is one thing to make effort to render service, and it is another thing to produce your time. If you are a driver, and you drive well, and people appreciate your driving, but you don't produce a good driver like you. You are not a perfect driver. You are just a good driver. For you to be a perfect driver, you must be able to produce your time. A driver like you. Brethren, do we understand what perfection is all about? That God says, you must be perfect. God said to Abraham, walk, be, be, walk before me and be perfect. Do we end perfection at all? Do we try as much as possible to render service in the vineyard of God and also make effort to produce our time? Let that sink into our heart that we are called for a service. We are not just called, called to come and warm chairs because God is producing or preparing a people as the logo said here. That the church is, the logo, the, the mission of the church is preaching the gospel and then preparing a people. Which type of people? People that will render service in the world tomorrow and produce their time. But if you and I cannot even render service, producing our time is not even there. It's just like when you cannot even keep the law, how then can you be perfect? Jesus Christ started by telling the man, keep the law. But he does not stop there. He says, if you want to be perfect, if you and I truly want to be perfect as our Heavenly Father is, we must understand the job that we are called to do. A wife who does well in her home, she respects her husband, and she tries as much as possible to be a homemaker. But if she fell, to produce her time, she is not really a perfect wife. Ability to produce your time is what makes you a perfect person. And we must strive to do that which God be. God says, let us produce our time. That is where the whole thing started. Let's read Genesis chapter 1 so that we can understand what perfection is all about. Genesis chapter 1, reading verse 26. Genesis chapter 1, reading verse 26. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let me stop here. What is God saying? God is simply saying, let us produce our time. 
In the church where you serve, the service you render in the church, do you make effort to produce your time? Yes, you are a strong leader. It is a great service. God appreciate. But for you to be a perfect song leader, you must try to produce your time. Yes, you clean the hall. It is a very important service in the house of God. God appreciates such great service. But if you end in cleaning the hall, you are not a perfect person in the sight of God. Because if anything happens to you, you have no picture. Your ability to clean the hall and produce your time is what makes you a perfect leader. Yes, you give some it. You are a teacher. God appreciates. It is a great service in the house of God. But the question is, do you understand what, to, what it means to be a perfect teacher? It is ability to teach and also produce your time. Brethren, we must understand that God is interested in preserving his church. And that is why he says, I will build my church, and the gate of hell will not prevail over my church. That is to say that his church will continue to exist, and we have a role to play. How well we multiply ourselves, how well we produce our time, we have a negative or positive effect church of God. If you are today somebody is handling the, uh, the piano is a, a picture of someone. I stand here to teach is a picture of someone. But sometimes when I look at myself, I ask myself, do I have a picture? Do I have a time? It makes me to feel bad within myself because I believe I don't have a picture. But I must try not only to render a service but to produce my time. That is what perfection is all about. If you are a teacher in a school, and all you do is to teach children, teach students, and they, they pass well in the exam. But you can, you are not able to produce a teacher like you. You don't have a picture. You are just rendering service. We must try to render service and produce our time. That is what perfect leadership is all about. And that is what we are called to do. God the Father has a picture that He has sent to us because He is a type to follow. And that picture is Christ. Christ, when He was living, left, leave behind a picture. And that picture are the apostles. That was why when the when the uh, people of Antioch saw them, they said, these are pictures of a man we know. These are, these are Christ like. These are like that man whom we call Christ. And that is where we get our name, Christians. Christ like. Or pictures of Christ. Moses was able to leave a picture when he was leaving this earth. And that picture 
is Joshua. Joshua is a picture of Moses, and that makes Moses a perfect leader because he was able to render service to his people and he was able to produce his time. Elijah, when he was living his life, was able to produce his time. And, his, and that person is Elisha. Brethren, do we truly have a picture? Do we have a type? Yes, you are a good man. You are a good person in the church of God. God appreciates. But God is in the business of preserving his church so that his church will not die. If I am the one who preaches and I cannot produce my time, if anything happened to me, it will affect the church. But if I understand the work that I am called to do, and I was able to preach and also produce my time, therefore I have the good of the church at heart. That means that I want the church to continue to exist. We should not be self-centered. Yes, we are called to work out our own salvation. We are also called to preserve the family of God by producing our time. Apostle Paul was able to produce his time in the person of Timothy. That makes Apostle Paul a perfect leader. Brother, who is our type? Where is our picture? I started by asking, do we have a picture? Do we have a photocopy? Do we have a type? And all of us raise our hand that we have a picture. But in reality, do we truly have a picture? Do we have a type that if anything happened to us, if our life expire on this earth, the work, the service which we render to God, do we produce a type that will continue that job? Yes, I serve in different capacity. God appreciates. But what effort do we make to keep the church alive? So that if you are telling on this earth aspire, that job will continue by someone whom you have already transferred that to. And that is what perfection is all about. The Bible keeps talking about Moses, Moses, as if Moses is the only good leader in the Bible. Why? Because he was able to produce his time. God the Father was able to produce his time through Christ. Christ was able to produce his time. Moses was able to produce his time. The question is, the ball is at your court. Where is your picture? If you say you have a picture. Where is that picture? Where is your time? Brethren, we must understand that we are called to render service and to produce our time. I am standing here today because of a product, I am a product of someone, which is Mr. Kenmore. And I'm sorry to say that because 
I don't need to bring it off. But Apostle Paul says, imitate me as I imitate Christ. If I am Mr. Kimball's picture, where is my picture? If Mr. Kimball can look at me and say, this is my picture, this is my time. Where is my own picture? Do I have a picture? It is important, brethren. We are not just called to be a member of the Church of God. We are called to render service and produce our time. Let us see how Apostle Paul explained who we are. 1 Corinthians 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, reading verse 12. It says, As for the body, as the body is one, and as many that and has many members, but all the members of that one body, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body so also is Christ. Apostle Paul is comparing us with a body. When you look at your body, you are one body, but different parts. And each part in that your body plays important function. That is what church is all about. Look at the eyes. Look at the nose. Look at the ear. Look at the hand. Each of them are part of the body. Each of them plays a pattern function. And that is why we are called a body of Christ. In the church is one family. And in that one family is made up of different individuals. And those individuals are designed to work, to serve each other. Those parts of the church, those individuals are designed to render service and to support the body. The question is, are you a worker in the vineyard of God? If you and I cannot serve as small as the church is, is it in the bigger church or the bigger world, which is the kingdom of God that we will, will now serve? If you and I cannot serve in this little group, is it in a bigger world that is bigger that we will serve? Because it is impossible to give what you don't have. How well do we develop ourselves to be a service provider? And how well do we make effort to produce our time? That is what our calling is all about. Keeping the law is to guide our relationship with that God who called you and I. Because He has a rules that you and I must follow. But there is a job that we are called to do. And that job is to work hard, to render service, and to produce our time. So the question is, brethren, how well do we make effort to render service and to produce our time? That is what leadership is all about. And that is what our calling is all about. Finally, brethren, God is 
looking for those who understand what it means to be a leader and a father. God wants you and I to be a service provider and a producer of our time. If you are a preacher, if you are a teacher, someone train you so that the church of God will continue. The question is, that little service you are rendering, someone train you, how many people have you trained? How many people can you look at and say, this is my son? As Timothy, as Paul looked at Timothy and says, Timothy is my son. As Moses look at Joshua and say, Joshua is my son. You might say, ah, the service I'm reading in the church is very little. It's very small. There is not a small in the eyes of God. That little service, try to multiply yourself. So that when you are gone on this earth, the church of God will continue. That cleaning you are cleaning in the vineyard of God is important to God. Try to produce your time. Make effort, brethren. Let us make effort to be a service provider and a producer of our time. So